benches are already calling him Colonel Calamity. He's got <laughs> Corporal Chaos next to him on the benches. Given the mess he's inherited and his penchant for profanity. Oh, was our loathsome James Cleverly really easily destroyed by Yvette Cooper? Well, watch and you decide. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. The Home Secretary has been in post two weeks in which he's found the same language to pick a fight with Stockton and show what he thinks of his own Rwanda policy. He's been attacked by his backbenchers and Downing Street's already been forced to confirm they still have full confidence in him. Twelve days ago, he said asylum hotel bed spaces are down. Four days ago, Home Office figures showed they are up to a record 56,000, 10 more, 10,000 more than at the beginning of the year. Does he even know what is going on? Yes. Yeah. Secretary of State? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but let me expand on that. Let me expand by product of asking a closed question at the dispatch box. Um, uh, I've been in this job uh, 14 days. And I am conscious, I am conscious that many of my counterparts around the world and around Europe are grappling with many of the uh, same issues. I would love nothing more than to be able to resolve them all in 14 days. I'm good, but I'm not a magician. Yvette Cooper. That means an end to the magical thinking that his predecessor <laughs> called for then. We've still got 10,000 more than when the Prime Minister promised to end hotel use. He owes the House the facts. There's still no sign of anything on their failed Rwanda plan because he knows it won't work. Nothing on the trebling of net migration to tackle the skills gaps that are driving work visas. They've been in power for 13 years and all we've got is chaos and briefing wars. His backbenchers are already calling him Colonel Calamity. He's got <laughs> Corporal Chaos next to him on the benches. Given the mess he's inherited and his penchant for profanity, does he accept he's now up a certain kind of creek without a paddle? Madam Deputy Speaker, Madam, the, the uh, Right Honourable Lady uh, is someone I admire hugely, and one of the things that I admire uh, most is about how she managed now to be at the dispatch box two times and failed to ask anything resembling a sensible question about the issues that we are discussing here. I think we'll leave it here because he didn't really see anything of interest other than the fact that the parties opposite were being big fat meanies to us and poking us into our skip fire of mess this government is presiding over. But what I will agree with our Home Secretary on is when he started describing what was actually going on between his ears when he said this. At the dispatch box, there is a vacuum, a gaping vacuum. Now, I think that is something the whole country can agree on, can't we? But what do you guys think? Let me know down below as to whether you think our Yvette Cooper is right, our James, not so cleverly, is actually our Colonel Calamity, and our Honest Bob is our Captain Chaos. I shall just leave the video here and I shall just bid you farewell and take care, my friends.